Hello, and welcome to Book Talks. I'm your host, Jonah Lopez. And today we will be discussing the book Verbal Judo by George Thompson. Uh, George Thompson um, was an ex-police officer and also um, a doctorate in English before he started doing lectures on verbal judo, which is his method of persuasion. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of main concepts in this book, um, but my main takeaway was empathy. He He's a big advocate for empathy of trying to understand the other person in an argument and trying to see what they're trying to get out of it, the conflict. Um, and he also says, don't shy away from conflict, that each argument is an opportunity to grow how you, to grow yourself pretty much on how to deal with humans and interact with other people that are kind of giving you a hard time. Um, yeah, he goes into very specific techniques, but uh, the main concepts were um, just being direct with the other person and being genuinely curious about why they're behaving a certain way. If someone starts yelling at me, it yes, he's angry, but why is he angry? You know, what is the un, the underlying problem and how can we resolve it? And when you start to think that way, you start to cooperate with the other person in a way that isn't confrontational and you still hold your self-respect um, in the situation. So uh, I thought that was an interesting takeaway from it. And also, um, it's you. One, another main thing he, he kind of drills into the book is knowing yourself before you try and understand other people. And that's the hardest part is understanding yourself and your own emotions. So, um, he, the way he does it is he kind of separates himself from his emotions. So say I get angry and I consciously, I consciously notice that anger rising in me. I kind of put that personality as another person in my head and say, you could, he even goes as far as giving it a name, like, Oh, whenever I'm angry, I'm going to call it max or something like that like mad max is coming in and and he's yelling at me and he's going to try and take over my mind and my actions so first step is to kind of recognize that and then kind of use the same techniques you would use on other people on yourself so if you have angry thoughts you kind of slow down and say okay yes i i realize that i am angry I have these feelings, but why? What What's the reason behind it all? And how can I find a solution to the actual problem instead of just reacting to my anger or whatever emotion it can be in a conflict? Um, you're responding to it instead of reacting. So uh, that was a, a really good key takeaway. And I mean, it just, it's pretty repetitive. It just kind of keeps drilling those same points, but he words it differently. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about working towards a solution in an act of cooperation with the other person. Um, and also kind of knowing yourself, uh, if someone comes at you, you don't react to them by yelling back at them. You take a second, assess yourself and then you try to assess the other person and you respond to them in a cooperative manner in finding a solution that works for both of you. So, um, oh, and another key point that he does is paraphrasing is very important with empathizing with other people. When someone tells you something, a great way to kind of ease the situation is to paraphrase what the other person said so you could say something like let me let me see if i heard you right and then you start you repeat what they said but in your own words 
And oftentimes the other person will kind of cool down and they'll get a chance to listen to what they said and kind of, kind of fit, not figure out, but like, but see what the reason behind their actions and the way they're reacting to a situation. So it kind of gives them a second, like, or an outside perspective to the whole situation. They say, hmm, okay, maybe I overreacted. And this is the reason I reacted this way. Uh, there's an issue and this is what I'm trying to address. And it just, it clears the water, you know, there's open communication between both parties and it's just a good way to deal with people. So very basic tools that you could use with anyone. I mean, he was a police officer, so he was in these dangerous situations with hostages and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, you could apply it with your kids, your spouse, friends, just anyone you come into contact with. If you're at work, an angry customer comes at you, um, you can use these techniques and tools. So very interesting, quick read. I think it's like it's 200 pages, but yeah, pretty basic concepts. Uh, enjoyed it, enjoyed it a lot, and I highly recommend it. So if you're looking for a book, I know it's kind of hard to find, go out during this quarantine times. I'm going to post a link in the description and you can check it out. And that will conclude today's book talks. Um, I'm also in the process of reading Catch-22, but I think I might do another side book. Um, usually I do like a self-help book and a fiction book at the same time. So um, this was my nonfiction for the week. Um, I haven't decided yet on the next book. Um, might be Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People just to kind of keep the trend going on how to deal with other people. Um, or it might be just like a financial book. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll announce that either on my Instagram or Facebook. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you at the next book talk.